Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we're gonna to be working on ultrasound photos for metal business cards. Uh, these are aluminum business cards, the really premium ones. These are 0.8 millimeters thick, and uh, we're taking an ultrasound from my baby. She's coming very, very soon, any day now. Uh, so I thought we'd kind of celebrate with some ultrasound photos. We're gonna be using Lightburn to prepare our raster images for EasyCAD. So if you have Lightburn, uh, you're gonna be in great shape to learn from this tutorial if you don't have it you should probably just pick it up it's 80 bucks and it's got a ton of powerful tools we don't even have to touch Photoshop today um, we're making very minimal edits it, it light makes it so easy so I'm gonna show you how to get amazing results just like this very very quickly and we're gonna get started right now Okay guys, so you're ready to get started making these awesome ultrasound cards. Um, we are going to do a lot of our image prep in Lightburn today, and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get that open, but first uh, we just need to grab our file off the desktop. So let's run over to the desktop and uh, get things started. So we've got our ultrasound right here, uh, and I just I scanned this in when I got the, uh, the ultrasound done, and they print out a couple photos from you. So it wasn't the best photo in the world, but we just scanned it in, uh, and we've got it right here. And uh, we need to bring this into Lightburn. So let's open up Lightburn, and uh, we'll just drag this in here. And uh, there it is, that's great. Um, one thing that we need to know before we, we kind of get started here is how big our cards are. So if we take one of our metal business cards and uh, we just do a quick measurement here, we can uh, find out what the height of our graphic is going to be. Now the image of the ultrasound is going to be a lot shorter than the card. It's not going to take up all this space and that's okay because I have an idea for the end. Uh, so we really want the height. So if we just go ahead and uh, take a height measurement here with our caliper, we can see it's going to be about 54 millimeters. So uh, we'll jump back into Lightburn and we're going to set our height to 54 millimeters. Uh, this is important because if we don't set our proportions right now, our processed image isn't going to uh, work out the right way in EasyCAD. So all we need to do to start editing this is right click here and we're going to come down to adjust image. Uh, and once this opens up, we can see we've got a couple settings here already set. Um, our cells per inch, 200. The fiber laser is capable of really, really fine detail, and we wanna make sure that we're taking advantage of that. So we've got our cells per inch. That's how many of these little dots uh, per inch that we're gonna get. Uh, we wanna make sure that's set really high. Uh, this seems to be about as high as it'll go on light burn, 200, so that's what we're gonna use. We've also got our DPI, which is our dots per inch, uh, and again, that's just tied directly to resolution. We're gonna use about 1,000 in EasyCAD, so we wanna set it to about 1,000 here. Um, the last thing we're going to do, we've got a lot of trash in, in kind of these white areas that doesn't necessarily need to be used. Um, so we are just going to raise our gamma a little bit here um, until we get rid of most of that garbage. Uh, so that we're just working with the, uh, the dots that actually make up the ultrasound. And that looks pretty good. So um, with all of that done, I'd say we're about good to go. We don't really need to mess with any of our other sliders. It's an ultrasound, so we're getting great contrast. Just remember, you do want to select negative image. Anything that is black is where the laser is going to engrave. And because we're engraving aluminum, anything that we engrave is going to be white. So uh, in the case over here on the left, all of this background would be white, right? Like all of this, it would be wrong. So we need to invert that. So we're just going to check the negative image pillbox here and that's going to make all of our white areas that actually need to be white black so that the right areas get lasered so uh, don't forget that step because that's really important once we're done we're just going to hit ok and it's going to make those changes uh, they're not showing on the screen i'm sure there's a setting somewhere in lightburn to get them to show live on the screen but i i promise they uh, those changes have been saved and then we can click save processed bitmap and when we save that, we'll get a little save window and we can choose where we'd like it to go. Um, her name is Coraline, so we'll do Coraline here. And uh, we'll go ahead and save that to the desktop so it can be easily found. And uh, with that out of the way, we're, we're pretty much done here um, in Lightburn. So we can get rid of that. 
uh, and we can close this window here and here it is our final image you can see it's been inverted which is how we know that our changes have been saved um, we've got our little half tone matrix in there and that's looking really really good so uh, this should come into EasyCAD really really well if you want to take this project to the next level uh, we can come into Illustrator here and we're just going to create a box this box is uh, 54 millimeters by I believe 86 millimeters which is the uh, dimensions of our card that we're engraving and we can actually bring our uh, revised image in here so we can see how much space it's going to take up. Uh, so there it is. And we can just go ahead and center that on the card. And we can see we have this leftover area over here. Um, and this area is where we can put some extra special details if uh, we wanted to include those, like maybe a stylized name or something like that. Um, so we can pop this up here. And I kind of like the system font. I, I want to stick with the... Um, the, the aesthetic of the ultrasound. So let's grab our type tool and uh, we can go ahead and type out some details that we know about our coming baby. So we'll click here and we could say maybe like Coraline Orion due November 6, 2021. Um, you know, and uh, I, I, gosh, I don't know. Um, we could say, I don't know, spooky baby. Because I, I think she's coming on Halloween, which is tomorrow. Um, you know, we'll see. We'll see if we get a Halloween baby. But uh, we'll come in here to character. I really like the source variable font here. I, I think this is a cool one. Um, you know, maybe something bold. We want it to show up. Uh, so there it is. That looks appropriate for what we're working with here. Um, and then we'll just really quick, we'll do an object and expand. And we'll hit OK. And we'll ungroup this. And then let's just group each of these lines uh, one by one. Perfect. And we can tighten this up a little bit because it doesn't need to be quite so far apart. And maybe the spooky baby can be a little smaller. And this is looking really, really good. Let's do a preemptive unite just to make sure that we don't have any issues with our text. And we can make this a little bit smaller so that it fits in uh, just like this. And I think that's looking really good. So now we've got kind of like a, a data line on our card and it, it looks like it belongs with everything else. So uh, that, that'll be kind of neat to, to have in there. So um, with that done, we can remove this. Let's turn our card sideways again. I'm just holding shift there to get those nice uh, rotate snaps. And uh, we'll, we'll save this file. So let's save this as something too. We could do file save as, and uh, we can call this uh, Coraline data. And uh, let's go ahead and save this on the desktop uh, so that we can find it when we get into EasyCAD. Don't forget to set this as a version 8 uh, because these are vectors. And we'll just approve this. And uh, we can close this out. So we're done in Illustrator. That's all we're going to do in Illustrator. You don't have to do that step in Illustrator. You can handle it in Lightburn. But uh, just for the sake of time, I'm, I'm a little faster in Illustrator. So I just wanted to throw that together. Uh, to show you guys what was possible. So here are two files. We'll go ahead and open up EasyCAD. So with EasyCAD open, let's uh, let's open up kind of our, our little template file here first, Coraline Data. Let's get that open and center that up. So we know our image is gonna come right in here. We won't end up keeping the outline, but I do wanna leave it in just for a minute while we grab our, uh, our, our bitmap. So remember, we can't import uh, a bitmap with the draw vector file. We need the draw bitmap file. So we'll come in here and grab that. There's our processed Coraline file from uh, Lightburn. So you can bring that in and uh, EasyCAD has this weird thing where it makes bitmaps giant when you import them. Uh, we know that the height is 54 millimeters. That's how we prepared it in Lightburn. So we can just over here in the bitmap file, uh, our object properties, we can just hit apply with a height of 54. And uh, we'll go ahead and drop this right about where it's supposed to be. We have a lot of white on the top and bottom, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, just get it close. So I'm just using the arrow keys here to kind of pop that into place. And that looks good. This is a really, really great kind of like startup for our card. Last thing we want to do is ungroup this vector over here. And uh, we're going to just cut our outline out for a second so that we can group our text. So let's get that grouped and hatched. And uh, just the standard hatch for this is fine. It's a small thing. It doesn't need to go particularly fast. So pen zero and uh, unidirectional is going to be great. Um, and we'll use the cross hatch here. So hatch two and three are off uh, with our 45 degrees and our standard line distance of 0.025. So that all looks good. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hatch that. 
And uh, once this hatches, we should be good to drop our outline back in. So we'll go ahead and paste that in. And we're going to cut our bitmap and our text so that we can just line up our cards. So let's go ahead and light this and head over to the, uh, the, the fiber laser so that we can get our card lined up. So you can do this with the really thin, cheap aluminum business cards, um, but we're stepping it up. We're going for the big stuff here. Uh, this is 10 in a pack and it's like 15 bucks. So they're, they're pretty expensive, but they're really nice, super thick. Uh, these are 0.8 millimeter thick anodized aluminum cards. Uh, so they are really tough to bend with your hands and they're gonna last a really long time. Great for gifts or whatever else you wanna use for them. And uh, again, there's a lot of white space on this card that's not gonna get marked. So it doesn't need to be perfect, but we'd like it relatively straight and uh, inside the box. And uh, there we go, our lineup is good. So let's just head over to EasyCAD to put our final touches on this. So with everything lined up, we can go ahead and stop our red laser, paste our assets back in and remove our outline. So let's get the outline removed. And the last thing we wanna do is just check our image settings. So let's select the, uh, the bitmap here and we'll bring this up a little bit so we can actually see some of our options. Uh, we're using a fixed DPI, so make sure this box is checked 1000 and 1000 are what these should be set to because this is the DPI that we set our image adjustments to when we were editing in Lightburn. Uh, we also wanna make sure gray is checked, so make sure you check gray. And uh, we want pixel power adjustment turned on uh, and there's one last thing we need to do. So we'll hit the extend button down here. If you can't see this, you can drag the bitmap file window out uh, so that you can resize this to any size you need in order to find those menus. Um, so that's something that you can do pretty easily. Uh, but we're gonna hit the extend here and we wanna just check this box right here. Disable mark low gray point. Uh, a lot of people have a problem with bitmaps where even where it's white and there's no data, the laser marks anyway, and it makes photos look really bad. Checking this box fixes that problem and setting it to one means anywhere on this bitmap that is pure white, the laser is not going to mark it. So uh, make sure that's checked and that the value is set to one and hit okay. And then the last thing we wanna do is just make sure uh, that with these boxes checked, we hit apply so that all of our changes are applied and uh, we're, we're good to go, guys. We should be good. Uh, I, uh, just as far as settings go, I've found a speed of about 500 and a power of 90 work really well for this card. Remember, I'm on a 30 watt laser, so your settings might be a little different if you're on a 50 or a 20, uh, but these settings work pretty well for me. Um, and we want our, our, the reason our power is so high is because we have set this pixel power adjustment. So the bigger the pixel uh, and the darker the pixel, the more energy is going to come out of the laser. So by setting this really high, uh, like our power to 90, we are giving a wider range for better detail on the photo. So uh, you want you want a fairly high power on something like this. Again, uh, on my 30 watt laser, 590, 25 seems to be working well. So uh, with that done, all we have to do is mark it. So let's head over to the laser and uh, watch this thing unfold. And there we go, guys. We are all done. We've got just a little bit of dust on here. Let's get that off and uh, check that out. I mean, that's freaking awesome. It looks like you're staring at the monitor during the ultrasound, you know? I mean, it's really, it's really, really cool. Um, and I think a lot of people can make a lot of money doing something like this. Um, and it's just, I mean, it looks awesome. I mean, and you can do this with any image. It doesn't have to be an ultrasound, okay? Uh, you, you can use Lightburn to process just about any image and get results like this on the fiber laser without even having to look at Photoshop, uh, you know, and it's just, it's such a powerful piece of software and it's so inexpensive. Uh, so I just really wanted to show off its capabilities, but yeah, I mean, check that out guys. Okay, let's head over to the desk and wrap this up. This is just an inkling of Lightburn's awesome photo editing power. And I, up until recently, had no idea it was capable of this. Uh, it's just so cool. It looks so good. And uh, if, I mean, do you want to get rich? <laughs> 
Because this is how you get rich. Um, I mean, this this would be so wildly popular. You could put custom messages on the back of these, no problem. Um, you could market these. You could sell these. The cards are inexpensive, even the even the heavy ones, right? I mean, if you think about it, if it was let's be conservative and say twenty bucks for ten of them, that's two dollars a card. You could sell this for thirty dollars, twenty thirty bucks, uh, easy, no problem. You know, and people could just send you your your their ultrasounds. And uh, you could rock something up like this. They could use them as like announcements. You could even like, you know, the, it doesn't have to be, this was like 20 weeks, I think uh, we got this ultrasound done, maybe a little earlier. You could even do like just the little, when they're just a little jelly bean, you know, and they're like, they're like just finding out they're pregnant and they're ready to announce, uh, boom, you could do like an ultrasound just like this. Uh, and again, these same tools in Lightburn that we use today could be used for any photo. Um, this method for engraving photos with the inversion works on any anodized or powder coated or you know cerakoted uh, aluminum too because aluminum you're always going to get that bright white so uh, dark coated aluminum's always going to get results like this too so um, I think I think the results speak for themselves guys and I'm, I'm really excited that I got to share this uh, with you guys today if you guys got value out of this video, don't forget to smash the like button and uh, let other people know that the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time I upload a video. If you love the channel and it's the best thing that's ever happened to you, don't forget to check out the Laser Master Academy. It is the best way to support the channel. You get access to bonus live streams. Uh, every week we have a bonus live stream. You get bonus episodes of the uh, Laser Source podcast weekly. You get uh, instant access to my entire fiber and CO2 laser parameter library. Soon we're going to be expanding that to CO2 Galvo and UV as well. We've got uh, a really amazing community in there uh, filled with people who pay to be there, right? I mean, this is like the, the top tier guys, this is the top level, the people that are really, really driven and motivated uh, to, to make their businesses succeed. That's who we have there. And we're almost to 300 members uh, on LMA now. And most of our existing patrons over at the Patreon have already switched over so if you haven't switched over don't forget to do so um, but yeah you can find out all about that at masters.lasereverything.net and uh, don't forget to check out the discord too that's kind of our free uh, online community where just everybody kind of floods in uh, and hangs out uh, we talk shop we help each other out we share photos of our progress and stuff like that so uh, the discord a free alternative if you can't afford to support the channel right now is available down in the description for you as well but yeah guys that's it I'm just I think this is really powerful I, I I love the the card format. I love the text on the bottom. I love the imagery. I just think this is so cool. It is like it's like looking at the the ultrasound live on the screen. I'm really really impressed with these results. I'm so happy I was able to share them with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.